guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're on the free to play account on the test server and our brand new Lightbearer Hero is out. So let's go ahead and check him out. Um, looks very interesting. So Maro the Dark Crow, really hoping that with it being a mage and a Lightbearer that the Lightbearers have not done wrong after we seen Walker last time. I, I'm really hoping this is going to be a game changer, a late to end game hero um, that we definitely need to, to have some light bearers out there. So the Eye of Evil. Morrow summons an Eye of Evil that deals 200% damage five times to enemies within range. Enemies that are burned are unable to use their ultimate ability. So that is very powerful. Right now, um, Aziz is the only one who does have this ultimate ability canceling. And looking at his, his level three, burned enemies cannot use their ultimate ability for six seconds. So the big reason why this is so strong is not only locking out the ultimate abilities, but you can put him in a super cycle with the twins, a couple other combinations that he can use this uh, uh, very, very fast, meaning for a majority of battle, they are going to be locked out of the ultimate abilities, which is, that is very strong. Binding Terror, Morrow summons a spider that cocoons an enemy dealing 220% damage, also preventing them from moving for four seconds. So it's not a crowd control, but it's it's pre preventing them from moving. And then the level three enemy is unable to move and use abilities for six seconds. So now it's gonna be kind of a crowd control ability with that one at six seconds. That is a lot of crowd control guys. Locking out the ultimate abilities and now unable to move and use abilities for six seconds. That seems very powerful. Demonic Murmurs. Morrow releases Korgas behind the enemy that, that has dealt the most damage and deals 250% damage to them, also manipulating them and attacking their own allies for six seconds. Now we have a combination of Mahira's Mesmerize ability in there to have them turn and attack their own allies. While the enemy target is being manipulated, they are unable to use their ultimate ability and shall not be targeted by the Binding Terror, which that's okay because if they're not if they're not hit by the, the uh, Binding Terror ability, that's okay because then you're not going to crowd control your own hero that you just manipulated. So definitely works there. Abysmal Retribution, Passive Morrow deals an additional 220% damage to an enemy while attacking them. This ability can only target the same enemy once every four seconds. Additional damage dealt equal to 10% of all damage dealt by the enemy target. This ability effects will be triggered when the enemy is while the enemy is being manipulated by Corgus. Wow. So he is mega built crowd control, guys. That's awesome. They finally did a light bearer, right? Let's check out the signature item here. After releasing Corgus, a murder of crows assail the enemy target, ignoring their defense rating, dealing 100% damage per second to the target until the manipulation ends. Very nice. So it's going to do a considerable amount of damage there. Ignores tar target's defense rating and deals 150% damage. Morrow receives health equal to 100% of the damage dealt by each of the, his crow attacks. Allied units will prioritize their attacks against enemies that have not been manipulated by the Demonic Murmur. So that's really going to change the course of battle if you know specifically what ally units um, are going to prioritize. So again, that, that's going to be a very interesting way for that abysmal tome on how he's going to use it. Let's look at the furniture, guys. When all non-summoned allies have lost a combined 10% of their health, the duration of the debuff effects dealt by the Morrow will be extended by 5% and may be extended up to 100%. Wow. That is very powerful. Each time an enemy uses a negative effect on an ally hero, the damage effect of the Abysmal Retribution shall be dealt to them. Ability may be triggered once every four seconds. So now he's going to be doing a considerable amount of damage, even though it's not really straight damage. Um, it seems like he is going to be very strong, guys. Remember, crowd control is one of the biggest aspects of AFK Arena, and they're giving him multiple forms of crowd control 
which again is going to be very strong. I can see him in a lot of different teams, especially with an energy cycle team. Um, I, I couldn't even imagine like an ability like this, maybe with Rose following him because he's going to alt much faster if you have a Rose Rowan combination, um, just because of burning the enemies for six seconds. If you can keep this up for an extended amount of time between, you know, like him and Rose, similar to what we see with Mahira, as well as speeding up the cycles for the rest of his abilities here. He's definitely going to be a game changer, guys. Again, they they did pretty good here. And primary, of course, is control. So mage control, it's going to be very cool. Let's see what he looks like, guys. So it, it is going to be a very cool. And I want to see here what he looks like just with the abilities. We'll turn this off. So there's the cocoon. There's the murmur. So he's attacking his own enemies. But there's the alt. So there's the eye. Wow. That is insane. That is awesome looking. Look guys. So he has the cocoon. There he cancels all the ultimate abilities. He burns everyone. And look, there's the mind control, the mesmerize ability. Yeah, guys, he is going to be an absolute, absolute game changer. That is very, very cool looking. Let's try him over here actually in a formation. Um, See, a lot of people said they gave us more heroes to kind of look through, but they don't. I, I didn't think they do. Let's put some tanks in here. We'll grab Nara because we have Sophia over here. And then since he is a mage, doesn't have any healing, we can pop Desire in here. Let's see what this looks like. See, so there he does some damage. We have Cecilia on him, but we knew the shields were going to come. There's the slow heal with Tazira. And here comes the ultimate lockout. Boom. Oh, see, he burned the wrong way. He burned Cecilia in the back, which is good because now we know formations with that specifically. We're going to have to look out for. But there, even Kasos is mind controlled. There's the big burn ability. Wow, guys, he is going to be awesome. 1.95 million. Again, I, I can see not only with the, the multiple forms of crowd control, is it seems like he is doing a considerable amount of damage. Plus, he has Raku's, I mean, the, the Cocoon ability in there. We have the Mesmerize. Um, from Mahira, we have Aziz's ability to lock everyone out, plus doing a considerable amount of damage in there and then you toss in when we get the engraving system for the rest of them that is going to be absolutely crazy guys so let me know in the comments what you guys think i'm very stoked about this hero it, it seems like he is going to be awesome so again let me know in the comments what you guys think and as always thank you guys for watching